Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last Congress, and again on May 17th, 2023, I introduced articles of impeachment against Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. We have been waiting for regular order for six months, and the Committee of Jurisdiction in Congress has failed to act. My articles of impeachment sit collecting dust with the others while Americans die every single day. The American people support impeachment. Members of Congress support impeachment. And even our esteemed Majority Whip, Tom Emmer, has endorsed this impeachment resolution. Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas has aided and abetted the complete invasion of our country by deliberately flooding our nation with drugs, terrorists, and illegals from over 160 countries. How many more will he allow to invade our country? Rather than adhering to an oath he took to defend and secure our country and uphold the Constitution, Alejandro Nicolas Mayorkas has engaged in a pattern of conduct that is incompatible with the laws of the United States. Since assuming office, he has allowed approximately 10 million illegal border crossers to invade our country, 1.8 million of whom are known gotaways and have evaded U.S. authorities. Because of his open border policies, he's allowed more than 280 people on terrorist watch list to be caught while attempting to cross the border between ports of entry, as well as approximately 73,000 special interest aliens who are aliens from a nation that promotes terrorist activity, harbors terrorists, or poses a sec security threat to the United States. These numbers do not even account for the approximately 1.8 million known gotaways who are roaming the interior of our country. How many of them are terrorists? Just last fiscal year alone, CBP arrested almost 18,000 individuals with criminal convictions and over 110 MS-13 gang members. How many of the 1.8 million gotaways are gang members? Just last week, Two constituents of mine were killed in a human smuggling pursuit caused by Secretary Mayorkas's open border policies. Jose and Isabel Larma's family will never get to see them again. His policies allow for approximately 300 Americans to die every single day from fentanyl poisoning. How many more days will this continue? His open border policies have allowed unaccompanied children to be exploited, and now 85,000 of them are completely missing. Tens, and thousands, tens of thousands of illegal children have been forced into slave labor. Thousands of others are being recycled by predatory illegal border crossers who use these children to become fake family units so they can receive expedited release into the interior of our country. Secretary Mayorkas has violated the law by directing DHS to mass parole illegal aliens into the U.S. when federal law specifically prohibits this. And he's been providing bus tickets, plane tickets, and hotel rooms at the expense of the American taxpayers for these illegal aliens. He's violated the Secure Fence Act of 2006 by not maintaining operational control of the border as required by law. He has violated the Guarantee Clause as set forth in Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution, which requires the federal government to protect states against invasion. The Guarantee Clause clearly dictates that the federal government has a constitutional duty and obligation to protect each of the states from invasion. As Secretary of Department of Homeland Security, he has violated his oath to uphold this constitutional duty by allowing the invasion of approximately 10 million illegal aliens across our borders. He has encouraged asylum fraud, abused the credible fear standard, and exercised mass catch and release policies. Article two of the Constitution requires that the executive branch, which includes the Secretary of Homeland Security, ensure the laws passed by Congress and signed into law by the president are faithfully executed. Alejandro, Alejandro Nicholas Mayorkas, in his inability to enforce the law, has engaged in a pattern of conduct that is incompatible with his duties as a civil officer of the United States. Alejandro Nicholas Mayorkas thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal from office, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office, 
trust in profit under the United States. While some of my colleagues have argued that we need to proceed through regular order to pursue impeachment proceedings, the Committee and Jurisdiction and Congress has failed to act on the overwhelming evidence to impeach Secretary Mayorkas. I urge my colleagues to support my legislation to impeach, to impeach Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The American people are ready. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.